Spectacular racing, a fairy tale Indy 500, and an all star American champion marked an incredible 2017 IndyCar season. But it was also the end of an era. With a radically redesigned car, new teams, and new drivers, it's all changed for 2018, the most eagerly anticipated season in recent history. I think 2018 is going to be you know, a blockbuster year. The, the Universal Body Kit, among many other things, I think is going to make the racing better. It's going to allow us to run closer together. You know, obviously that leads to more passing on road and street tracks. The stability on the oval feels a bit better, which might even lead to better racing on the ovals. It's going to challenge the drivers in a completely different way. I think the talent driver and team-wise is, is just unbelievable top to bottom in, in IndyCar. So the challenge is, is big any given Sunday for anybody, and I think that's what makes it such a good product to watch. 2017 title winner New Garden is the All-American poster boy champion that IndyCar has craved since Ryan Hunter Ray won the series back in 2012. The big difference actually for everyone, not just me, is, is the new car. You know, we've been really hammering away at the shop trying to figure out what are we going to need to do at all these different types of tracks. Being able to win the championship with Team Penske, I've, I've been busy, but you know, I don't know that uh, from the preparation side it's been any different than last year. For both Chevy and Honda-powered cars, the challenge in pre-season testing was adapting to the new body kit. It places emphasis on airflow under the car, drastically reducing downforce from the bodywork and the rear wing. Pretty early days overall to form any solid opinions, but uh, the car's definitely more alive, less downforce obviously, the car's more on top of the racetrack, busier behind the wheel, so it'll be a challenge to sort, sort out setups, find the offset from last year, and it'll be a challenge to get that driving style down. You give it a first shot, you see how the car responds, you try again, you try something different. Uh, so I, I like that game, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a, the hunt for grip and, uh, and getting the car in the, in the groove. On an oval, minor little things, half a PSI tire pressure or something, you can feel, it makes a difference. Whereas on a road course, it's not, it's not a big thing or an area of focus. So here at Phoenix, you know, we'll be working hard, particularly because we've never driven this new car on a short oval. So it's going to take us a long time to get up to speed. Uh, and try to get the car, you know, tuned in just right. While champions Penske and arch rivals Chip Ganassi have each scaled down their title assaults, there will be four new teams and plenty of fresh talent in 2018, including British outfit Carlin Racing. The last British team to race in IndyCar was uh, McLaren and Lotus, which is a long time ago, and that wasn't for the whole championship, that was mainly for the 500. So hopefully we can get that connection going again and, and get some real success over here and hopefully entice other people from Europe to come over. After suffering heartbreak on the final turn in 2012, Takuma Sato finally won the Indy 500 last year. And the 101st Indianapolis 500 is won by Takuma Sato. He and series champion New Garden can't wait to get the new campaign underway. New team but old team for me. There's so many factors that I, I need to adopt. But uh, I think 2018 IndyCar series is just probably the, uh, the most exciting season ever. I'll be excited once we get to St. Petersburg, just because I have been traveling so much. I'm actually looking forward to, to getting to a race weekend. You can just focus on driving the car, figuring out uh, what you're going to need for the race, and then actually doing that. So uh, once we get to St. Pete, it's going to be you know, fun just enjoying that kind of time with the team and, and, and working away like we always do. New Garden has been the perfect ambassador for the series, but with the season getting underway on the streets of St. Petersburg, Florida, the rest of the grid are gunning for him. He's been a great champion so far. We're going to look to dethrone him for sure, but um, he works really hard at it. Everywhere I look, he's doing you know something different. So the activation side of it, he, he did a great job, and um, you know we all appreciate that as a series. Now we want to kick his butt.